The NBA Finals, Celtics, will they finally get over the hump? Mavericks, will there be a new king in town? But first, Sammy, I got two stats for you. One real, one fake about the NBA Finals. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, stat number one. The Mavericks would be the first three seed or lower to win their first championship together as a core. Stat number two. The Celtics would become the first team in NBA history to win a championship in every single decade. Hmm. hmm. Well, th- decades every 10 years, right? Yes, every 10 years. Yeah, I mean, so the first one's the real one. That's correct. The first one's real, yeah. a real one. The Mavericks would be the first three-seater lower as like their first initial core championship to win one together. The Celtics have the same amount of championships and since 1980s as the Mavericks do, which is one. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so yeah. I knew the second one immediately was not correct because i mean, really they it, it's been i think since when was the last celtics championship before the the 2008 one it was like, like 1987 80, yeah 87 88 something like that yeah so they've won one since then so it's it they've been they've been essentially the same type of uh franchise they've been like to a couple finals and won one in you know 35 40 years damn well sammy i got speaking of nba finals i got a little bit of a quiz for you here today and a fun one are you ready? I am ready. All right. There's been four players in NBA Finals history to win the MVP award with the number 40 or above. Can you name them all? To win the Finals MVP? Yes, with the jersey number 40 or above. How many has there been, you said? So there's been four players with the jersey number 40 okay, no, or above. I just above. asked how yeah, many. Four. I understand. Just, yeah. Okay, four. Um... Okay, um, 40 or above, not 34 is Shaq, so he's not it. Um, a 40 and above, uh, Larry Bird was 33. I can think of everybody in the 30s right now, but I can't think of anyone in the 40s. Well, the reason this qu- this quiz exists is Luca's number 77, so I kind of wanted to, like, in case he wins, he'd become the fifth. I'll yeah. give you a hint. One of them yeah, well, is I know a Dallas Dirk. Maverick. I know. I know. I got Dirk. Yeah. I've, I've already had that in my head. You don't got to give me hints yet. I, I knew I, uh, Dirk was the first one. I was the only one because he's number 44 that I was there, 41 that I was going to say. So Dirk would be the only one that immediately goes to my mind. Man, I bet the, the rest of them are probably further back, right? Uh, most of them are th- further back. I'll give you. Do you want some hints so we can try to get them all? I want to kind of guess for a second. Uh, I've had like two guesses. <laughs> Dirk. And then... Uh, damn. Is it, is, it, is it was like, was it Wilt or something? No, no Wilt. Kareem. He was 33, Kareem. wasn't he? Yeah, Kareem is not one of them. <laughs> I need hints. All right, I'm going to try to see if we can like work together to get all of these ones. One of them, I'm going to give you a hint, is he's super famous. He's involved in the NBA every single day. Every day. Shaq? He no. was 34. He's involved on every NBA day. jersey. Oh, Jerry West. Jerry West is one of them. What number was he? 40-something? 40-something, right? yeah. Should have got that one. Jerry West, Dirk. It's not Bill Russell. Another Los Angeles Laker. Magic Johnson? No. no he was third. Laker, Jerry West. Not Wilt, not Kareem. Not... Um, like Worthy, did Worthy win any? Yes, finals? James Worthy won okay. a final MVP. You got three of them now, and I'm going to try to give you a hint here for 20 seconds. The last is the last one a Celtics player? No, he's not. But he okay. beat the Seattle SuperSonics in an NBA Finals. 
like Wes Enseld? Wes Enseld is correct. Okay. There you go. So, yeah, the numbers are Dirk, Jerry West, Wes Enseld, and James Worthy are the only players with the number 40 or above to win an NBA Finals MVP. Uh, the West Unsold one got me right away because I'll never forget finding a couple of uh, bullets West Unsold jerseys at a Marshalls before. And uh, it's just, you know, when you said they beat the Sonics, it, it hit right away. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, I kind of remember those. We did see those together. Yeah. I think I had one for some reason. All right, we had some technical difficulties here. So there's going to be like a weird layover on the podcast. Your boy here press the end button instead of mark clip button so here we are sammy um so i guess our uh, quiz is over at least it was in the middle of a quiz what's your opinion on this series well i actually find this to be one of the most fascinating series we've had in a long time now i think there is a weird what's the best way to put it there's a weird good part to what's happening in the NBA, and there's also a part that's not as as good to it, which is the dynasties are kind of over, right? Right. Um, it was it it sometimes it's be- I feel like some years it was exciting to have a new champion, and then some years it was exciting to see the Warriors and Cavs for three years straight. Straight, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But in terms of two new teams being in the finals, this doesn't feel like last year where you go in and it's like Heat versus Nuggets. Even if you kind of like the Heat, you knew the Nuggets were the like, like it just it was the Nuggets here. I don't know. I, I felt like yeah. it was pretty clear, right? This year it's different. I don't know. Like it's not clear. This is you have the best player in the world potentially in Luca with a guy in Kyrie who's won a championship. Then you have the Celtics on the other side, a team that has been there a couple times and actually been close. And I think it's as balanced and as even as can be. I think it's ridiculous that the spread is so heavy towards Boston. I think they're not considering the fact that the best player in the world right now is Luka Doncic, and he's on the Mavericks. I think it's going to be a phenomenal six or seven game series. Yeah, and usually, usually the way things work, right? And I, it's, I mean, kind of always known this is that the team with the best player in this series usually, usually not always wins the series like they win the nba yeah. finals it's kind of like of course it's not like you know all it's only happens with exception that way, but, to like super teams like lebron was the right. best player in like the warriors Cavs series for like two of the well, probably both times but durant and curry together is better than lebron being the best player so that that's a different yeah. scenario 100 percent. like but usually if you have the Best play, right? Usually, I'm not saying always, but usually that's kind of like the way it goes. Best player on, in the series wins the series, and I think you're right. When when Vegas, like I know Vegas is knows more than us, right? Like I'm not going to sit here and be like Vegas spreads, fucking. Idiots. I mean, yeah, for but, the, most of the time, yes, that's why they're winning. But there are times but, they're wrong too. But yeah. there are times they're wrong, and I feel like when you have someone like Luca on on the floor. This is a perfect example of when Vegas could be wrong. Like, yeah, I think there's a little bit of underestimation of what is it what, in basketball sometimes, like the better team versus the best player. And I think what's a little underestimated here is I think the two, okay, the best player in the series is Luka Doncic. The second best player is probably Jason Tatum. But the mm-hmm. one interesting thing with Kyrie Irving is there are, and this is specifically a, this is kind of, I know it's a little negative towards Jason Tame, but everyone knows this. Even Boston yes. fans now have acknowledged, if you listen to a guy like Bill Simmons, he acknowledges the lack of sometimes aggressiveness from Jason Tatum and sometimes taking the back seat. Kyrie Irving in many games, and we've seen it in a finals when he played with LeBron. Kyrie Irving could also be the second best player on the court in this series at times. I'm not saying he's overall the second best, but he can be better than Jason Tatum. You could have a scenario where Luka and Kyrie are the two best players in the series. And if that ends up happening, there shouldn't be much reason to why they can't win the NBA Finals. You know, you make a good point there because I I don't know if it's the... like a a uification of basketball or what it might exactly be but there is something with Jason Tatum I feel like you're right it's not that he's not good or not 
it's like the big moments he's so calculated right like i feel like when you watch Kyrie, he's like you know drip drip i know he's also au but him and luca like he's dribbling right and he's spinning around and he's doing this and luca's banging in the bodies i feel like jason tatum's kind of calculated it's like i do a jab step take one dribble take a left spin move fade away like it's so calculated and i think maybe that's why he's not aggressive at the end of a game because you don't have time for calculation I just think, he and I didn't have, make this theory up, by the way. Like yeah. I, I, I heard someone say it before. I mean, so, like, <laughs> I just, I'm gonna disagree with it, just because, like, the a, the AAU stuff. Like, at the end of the day, so was Kyrie, so was like Anthony Edwards, right? Like, so is like a lot of these guys who have that dog yeah. in them. I just don't think he has that much of a dog in him. As much as I'm not obviously he's in the NBA and he's one of the better players in the league, but I just don't think he has like the Luka Doncic level or the Anthony mm-hmm. Edwards level of like. Okay, my turn. I'm gonna fuck you up. Like he just doesn't have that in him. Like he, I, you know, he's he just has a little more of a. He honestly has a little more of a LeBron in him. But LeBron also happens to be like the best or second best player of all time. So you can do that when you're LeBron and make it work. Mm-hmm. Jason Tatum just takes a back seat sometimes. Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown has it in him. Jalen Brown will be like, all right, fine, Jason. Like, give me the ball. I'll, I'll go do it. Like you know. It's so weird because I agree with you, but then you see these like weird games. I wouldn't call them even weird, but like let's say game seven against the 76ers last year where he ends up like killing it and setting the game seven record for most points in a game. Like, there's like, it's sometimes there and sometimes not there. And it's weird, right? Let me tell you something, George. At the yeah, end please of the day do. In the NBA, I think there's one. <sighs> And you can't use this with Luca yet because this is his, fir- his first trip to the finals. So it's like, but there's one thing about the NBA and mm-hmm. NBA fans and the way we evaluate NBA stuff. I think me and you talked about this the other day off airs. You judge it off if did you win the championship or not, right? There's a lot right. of things that people, Shaq and Charles Barkley on TNT post game show, will talk. What is Shaq's number one shit talking method to Charles Barkley? Oh, you never won an NBA championship. Yeah. Pretty simple. And that's what matters in the NBA to these yeah. guys. Like, that's what, like, no one makes fun of Gary Payton for losing to Jordan in the finals and all that. You know why? Because Gary Payton ended up going to the Heat and getting a ring, and he can say, I have a ring. There's something about having a ring when you go finally win one that it takes you out of that, that you know, you've talked about it are the european mm-hmm. soft how did that stop that stopped when dirk won a championship yep. and then Jokic won a championship all the shit talking about players or being soft or do you have a dog in them the only way it ever ends is not from eastern conference finals against the 76ers or the second round against 76 it ends if you win the nba championship and you know unfortunately it doesn't happen for every player and i'm not saying that out Jason Tatum will forever be, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Let's just like. Right. Know, no matter, like he, almost yeah. no matter what. Yeah. He's been, it's going to be his second finals and <laughs> in, in, in his like fifth, sixth Eastern Conference finals. He's like 26. He's I know, phenomenal. It, the, the, honestly, the hard thing of Tatum, George, a mm-hmm. lot of times these conversations about Tatum, it makes it sound like he's not a great player, but he's really fucking great. But like, there's also guys who are really fucking great, like a Carmelo Anthony, who never win a championship. Okay. Or a Damian but, Lillard, all right. Or a so, James Harden. I mean, this is going to be like kind of dumb, right? But like, let's say they win the NBA championship and he has a good series. It's like everyone like, oh no, now he has that dog in him. Like, I, that's yes. my that's my only issue. Yeah, I know, but it's an issue to me because like we did this with LeBron. We did this with like he's not LeBron. I know he's not LeBron. I'm <laughs> saying we did this with LeBron. Does it mean like you can do? It's like when people I understand, the whole but like Edwards LeBron, did. it's because they were expecting him to do. Uh, LeBron's expectations were a different level of this. But I'm just talking about every player. Yes. People have that like kind of like theory with them, right? Like think about like like even Jokic last year, right? Yeah, but I just think maybe we're doing this too often. Like, oh, okay, this guy doesn't have a dog in him. He hasn't won yet, but he wins. It's like, oh, now he has a dog in him, (laughs) or like, but maybe never has a dog in him, right? Like, let's just say Jason Tatum wins NBA championship and he wins goes on to win three NBA championships because he's on a really damn good team. Maybe he never has a dog in him. Tim Duncan, yeah, and he's Tim Duncan. You know, like I just I find it funny that like if a guy wins a championship, I. Yeah, guy's tough now, and if he loses a championship, guy's not I, tough. Th- see, tough is not the right. You're mistaking what having dog in you means versus tough. Two different things. Like maybe yeah. Jason Tatum 
uh, Jason Tatum might be tough. Tim Duncan was tough. Like Tim Duncan plays through shit. Tim Duncan's, you know, that like having the dog in you is like the way Luca looks at those players. The way Luca has looked in uh, Devin Booker's eyes. The way he looked in James Harden's eyes, and the way he looked in Anthony Edwards' eyes. Wow. Luca, you you know when he you, you, you kind of touched me there. <laughs> you know what I mean? The way he looked at him, and they looked at him and said, "Like this fucking series is over, brother. Like you can go yeah. home now." That's the dog. That's a little different than tough, but like at the end of the day, yes. I even if it's stupid, I actually do think that's the the thing is if they win, will it go away? Yeah, the, all, all the shit talking will go away. Yeah, no, honestly. no. I totally, I actually agree with you. But it will go loses, away. Then it's it's what that's like five six years in a row of championship expectations, not even aspirations, expectations. Yeah. The Celtics have been set up not to have championship aspirations, but like actual expectations, right? Like they've been the team that's supposed to win one for about five years now. And if you go to the finals again and lose again, I'm just saying that at some point it starts to become a, you know, starts to become a trend. Yeah, I I know exactly what you mean. All right, Sammy, before we get going here, what is your final prediction here? Uh, Who wins in how many games? I'm I've been so toggled on this because like I think I know I understand that Boston's probably like the you know they're the favorite they're probably the right pick. Okay. But doing the right thing George is not always like the the, the right pick's not always the most fun one, right? That's so, very correct. I'm going to say that I think Luka and Kyrie are going to be the two best players in this series. And I think I think Jalen Brown's going to be the third best player, and I think Jason Tatum's going to be the fourth best player. And God, I think you are ba- so off on Jason Tatum. Not off, like you're. I'm not saying your take is off. I'm no, saying, I, like, I'm saying you're he, off, out on him. <laughs> no, being the fourth best player in a series like this, if it was against another team, he'd probably be the third best player, right? I'm just. I think Jalen Brown's kind of taking another step this year. Yeah, and I just think Kyrie and Luca are like such a fascinating backcourt. So I'm going to just go with them in seven because. I think this se- it's going to go six or seven. I don't. I can't. I can't imagine this series. This this series ending in five. Yeah, it, this. I, I agree with you on who's going to win. I have the Mavericks in six, but I feel bad for Jason Tatum because people like you and me sometimes are saying these things about. He, he's a fourth best player in a series. He was first team in all NBA. When that means you know technically you're one of the five best every players. In, players in yeah, I and mean, he does great in the playoffs every year. So and then it's like in the last series they play in every time he yeah. kind of takes a step back. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I'm not saying he doesn't. Uh, I, I said I feel bad for him. I'm not d- agreeing, disagreeing, or nothing. I'm just saying I feel bad for him. I just think that I, I wanted to look at his last NBA Finals, okay? Okay, let's see it. I'm actually curious, too. He averaged 21, 7, and 6. But considering when you're supposed to be the best player on the best team, he went one game. He has at a minus thirty six, plus minus a minus thirteen, a minus twelve, only a plus one. He had one really good game, and the rest were he he had a twelve and a thirteen point game in the finals. Like it was kind of like the LeBron first finals, not no second finals. Sorry, second finals. Yeah, and, and the closeout game LeBron. was George closeout game against the Warriors, right? Yeah, which it was what it was a one two three four five six. So it was a. 3-2 series. Yeah. <laughs> game six, closeout game. He played 40 minutes, and he had 13 points on six for 18 shooting. Yeah, not very good. I, that's why I'm saying yeah. I feel bad for Jason Tatum. <laughs> that's all. I just feel bad. And in game one, just to tell you, he also was three for 17 with 12 points. So okay. he had some and, down games in the finals. And then he also is the game seven. Most I don't care about the seven. second round. You know why I know, I know it's I second don't round, George? You know why? Because you said it was against the Phillies, against the 76ers. And I know the 76ers have not been to a conference final. No, no, I know. They either. haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get it. I, I, I Jordan, you know, get it. You know who else it. kills it in the second round? One of your least favorite players of all time. James Harden. James Harden. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. And you know who else kills? Like, this, you're right. NBA finals matter. That's, that's what matters. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. And he, they, there's a high chance that he wins it and he's the NBA Finals MVP. And everything I just said is complete, utter nonsense. But 